call the meeting of the Board of Zoning Appeals of the City of Twinsburg to order. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Griffin. Yes. Mr. James. Mr. Wilder. Here. Mr. Kales. Here. Let's rise for the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For those of you who have not been here before, we try to follow our uh, procedures. We try to make it as informal as we can, given the strictures of that uh, the hearing. Who here today is intending to testify, to give evidence, to make an application? If you'll raise your right hands, do you swear that your testimony will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth as you stand under God? Yes. Thank you. Uh, the first matter uh, on our agenda is the variance request at 8875 Maryville Drive. Is there a person here to make a presentation? Please, if you can come up to the podium. Yeah, you get to talk. <laughs> You'll be on television. <laughs> Yes. If you could identify yourself by name and then uh, who you're representing and what it is that you're asking for. Bring the microphone down. Okay. Yeah. So, never mind, this is my first time here in the audience. So, my name is Ravni Dami and uh, I live in the 8875 Maryville Drive. And I he I'm here for. Um, variance for my uh, extending my actually I already extend my driveway but I've tried to put my uh, uh, around the house for concrete so. and you're asking for a variance to continue the sidewalk that you're putting in or that you've already put in um, yeah around the house the, I extend my driveway, but I try to put my, one side of my, around my house, so. Mm -hmm. Any questions or observations in regard to the application? Did you apply, uh, you apply for a permit to do this before the work began? Or? No, sir, actually, um, uh, my, um, whoever putting my concrete so I talked to him and uh, he said okay he will do it for me because I, I had this I never been in this situation before this is my first time house so I just left everything for on him and uh, when he came down and uh, he did not have anything and he started working on it and he said you don't need it then my neighbor Dorothy she actually she stopped and she talked I said okay no we need it so that's why we started working on it. Uh, it was Keith. Yeah. Uh, that's correct that's what we were told. Sorry. Uh, that's what we were told when we were on the site. Uh, we were being aware of work being performed at 8875 Maryville Drive which we did reach out to them and found that work was started for a patio and the concrete widening the driveway. So we informed uh, the property owner and her agent uh, and they stopped and we did work through a process to allow them to proceed with a portion of the work that they submitted that was in compliance with the code. These remaining areas are on the side of the house by the man door that would encroach into that five foot area which we asked them to apply for areas which they've done. And does does this have to really go the entire length of what they're showing on their picture? Uh, no, actually uh, there's a revised plan. Um, essentially what they're doing um, is pouring concrete approximately six feet around the corner of the house 
so that it's actually a pad by the main door going in. They're, they're not extending that concrete all the way to the back. In fact, when we did the original approval, I had asked them to remove the forms, grade and seed and straw that which they have. Okay, so you would be satisfied with with the uh, structure ending at the door, at the man door? Yeah, I mean, it's a functional pad outside the man door. It's, yeah. it's in the plan. It passes the man door a few feet. Do you want to come up to the podium? Sorry, I'm Blake Mumford, a homeowner represent, representative. Just when I heard stop at the door, my little alarm went off saying, no, no, it's per the written plan and extends past the man door just a little bit. Just a little bit, how about two, three feet? Or? It's written in the plan. Um, I believe it's six feet. So it's 12 feet from the front. I believe it's roughly six feet past the door. Six feet past the yeah. door. See, I guess I saw that, and I have it as three feet three. on your notes. No, right. just it's, not it's not past the It's not three feet. So you're saying it's... Three feet past the door. Three feet past the man door. It's longer than... Again, that's off There's the room for two garbage cans post door. Like it's that's still not just three feet. Okay, so yeah. it's, it's, it's like six feet. The three foot distance is extending away from the house. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have a motion? Sorry. Um, I was, I'll make a motion to approve this variance with the. Uh, stipulation that it does end no farther than six feet past the man door of the property. Uh, Second, with an addendum with your uh, with your permission, that in no way does that that additional concrete past the man door interfere with the swale and the proper drain. That's right. Actually. This is, since this is the work session, would we we would need to talk less and have the public speak? We have some residents that would like to yeah. speak before we okay. make a motion to approve. I apologize for that. Is there anybody else to testify in yeah. this regard? Sorry, behind you. Can you approach, please? Yeah. Sorry. Hi. Hello. I'm Doris Moten. <laughs> And of course, this is my second time here. Um, she asked permission for a pad for the garbage cans. I said enough for two garbage cans, but that's not the issue here today. If you look at what they said, they wanted to do a sidewalk all the way down the side of the house. and. We object to that because our bedrooms are there. It's a swell there. It is, I mean, it's no privacy. Well, it's, and it's a drainage problem and that does continue. Problem. Yes. Um, the pad, I have no problem with. Yeah, if I can mention quickly, she does have on her notes seed and straw in that area. It's a lighter gray, but because it's a black and white yeah. copy, you can't really see it. Um, if you want to see it, I can show you. So, so they are meeting their objection is, is uh, yeah. taken care of, correct, Pete? Uh, yeah, it's, it's as described. So okay. this is the way where it goes past the first thing. Mm -hmm. So this area is lighter. Let's mm -hmm. say seed and straw. In fact, we asked them to do that when we went out that day. Mm -hmm. Well, I told her I have a pad, and where mine stopped, that's where they are set to stop. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess you want to tell them that, and we we'll probably be about the same. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would that satisfy your, your that concerns? Yes, that would be fine. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Is there anybody else uh, to talk about the 8875 Maryville property? 
post vote, I do have one thing I'd like to discuss regarding the zoning and the um, the codes for that zone. But it's it's a separate discussion outside this vote today. Would that be okay at the end? What what would you be talking about? Uh, application of the the regulations in this R five zone, but it doesn't pertain to this specific vote. Okay, I, I would really like to stick to the matter uh, before us on this agenda. Right. Okay. That could be a discussion for some other time. I'll discuss it right now then. Okay. Um, the community was built uh, two and a half years ago, and it's a beautiful community. And the homes as a cluster are five, are close together. The closest we have is roughly 10 feet, two inches. That's how close they are. Mm -hmm. Um, the the five foot rule is very clearly spelled out for our two, our three, our four, and our eight communities because we we want safe, we want beautiful and happy communities, right? Right. The reality is there's 30 homes squozing very tight. It's just how it's designed, and and in the, the in the guidelines there's a five foot um, space around the homes that are part of the the, the designs. It's a fact. As I've looked to assist in this um, variance approval, I found, much to my surprise, that the ordinance, the code 114408, pertains only to those, R2, R3, R4, and R8, not R5. When I go to the R5, which is 1143.09, um, it just talks about three things. Just, it's... It can't mess up the water flows. It needs to have HOA approval, and it needs the the inspector's approval. Just you know, sound logic. And my concern is within our community, applying that five foot rule in homes that are ten to fourteen feet apart is is really pressuring, and it's impacting relationships. And I'm speaking on behalf of our whole community. And there's no, no I'm not bring up drama at all, but. When there's a hard five foot rule and your homes are 10 to 14 feet apart, it's really encumbering homeowners from putting garage pads. Some are asking for permission, some mandor pads, some are asking for permission, some aren't, right? So it doesn't pertain to your vote here tonight, but I am asking for in the city of Twinsburg, in this R5, not to apply that other policy for a five foot rule. Apply the sound judgment, HO approval, water flows, and inspector approval and what's going to do for the community is it's going to eliminate the let's just follow the rules and by following the right rules it will protect it and from a safe um, a beautiful and a harmonious neighborhood that's why thank you sure I agree with you from the standpoint uh, of, of, of your desires however this is codified law ordinance. This body cannot change that. However, you do have a council representative. You need to bring these concerns as a community to your council representative so that, that he or she can bring that to the council body and the com building commissioner to make a change. All we can do, okay, as the Board of Zoning and Appeals is to review cases and apply the laws that we have available to us and make a decision based on that. If it needs to be changed, then that is beyond our purview. That becomes a legal issue. Thank you. Um, and and, and that, actually, the law doesn't need to be changed. We're just misapplying. We're applying the wrong law to this R5. Again, that's my point. Again, that's something that you need to bring to your councilman. Yeah. Yeah, that's the means. Yeah. yeah, and again, though, what happens is that comes to your community. Now, are you speaking on behalf of your HOA? That yeah, it's yes, I or, am. but have you? Are you speaking on behalf of all of your residents? Because one behind you, has is is not. I care deeply about doors. Okay. Just making sure, like that's oh, what for sure. Yeah. So yeah, like her, that's her, why her. going to your council person is where we're asking you to go because your council person is your is your voice for your ward. That would but come what, from what that. would change. 
the, I'm, I'm saying the law is not being applied properly because the law that protect that decides R5 zoning rules is not being applied. The law, the ordinance for R4 is being applied. That's my point. But it's a good point. We, we, we definitely want to speak on behalf of everyone. And that's what we're pursuing, is just a 30 home, happy community. I'd suggest you talk to your council and talk. That's the means. I'm good yep. with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone here to uh, speak on the other appeal that's before us uh, for the Lumen Lane uh, parcel for the variance request? If you could identify yourself. Sure. Thank you. Um, my name is Jeff Janis. I'm the homeowner, along with my wife, Patricia. And we were looking to construct a uh, fence on the rear of our property, on the sides of the property only. There is a fence from our neighbor in the back already. Right. Just the sides, four foot approved by the homeowners already, and the style. What we wanted to do was do the adobe color. Um, we didn't want white. We wanted something a little bit darker to blend in with the the foliage and things. So we're just looking for that variance. I know the the regulation uh, stipulates black, dark brown, or dark green. Yes, it uh, does. I'm sorry. But uh, I wasn't sure if that was vinyl coated um, steel mesh or this construction is full vinyl, full color on both sides of Adobe. So I, I, I'm, I'm smiling because I've never seen an ordinance specify what colors there have to be on the fence. fence. Yeah. It's, um, it's unusual yeah. in my experience, and I've been around a lot. I haven't of seen any, but I haven't seen. I, I've seen black metal fences around pools, right. but that's right. about it. Um, so in the packet, if, if you need to see the color, I've got the brochure that we have here. Um, that shows it a little bit easier. And uh, two weeks ago today, we actually had a surveyor come out and do the measurements and check the pins and also line up exactly where the fence will come to the rear of the house. And our, our uh, fencing company will, and they'll only do this, they'll bring it in six inches from the property line, which we wanted anyway for clearance. I don't want to have any you know issues with neighbors on, on both sides. So it's just the rear of the property comes up to the edge of the um, house and it comes across on the one side where the garage is there will be a gate a four foot gate on that side on the other side it will come across uh, to the rear of the house so it's mainly the color so yeah thank you sir um, we'll now move to the regular session, uh, and the first matter on the regular session is Appeal 082022. Do we have any comments on that from the board? I, I just have one comment. The comment being that when the house was built, I think that sidewalk should have been to that doorway on the side of your garage, then just leaving it to walk out and grass then you wouldn't be going through this with us. I mean, I think that would, would have been done the right way. That's my thought. In that regard, do we have a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion uh, to approve the variance. Um, with the stipulation that it cannot be six feet farther than the man door of the garage. Do you have a second? I second. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Green. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. So that variance has been granted as stated in the motion. Um, appeal 092022, the Lumen Lane variance request. Do we have any further discussion on that? Do we have a motion on that? I'll make a motion to approve the uh, variance. I'll second it. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Griffin. Yes. Mr. James. Mr. Wilmer. Yes. And Mr. Gaines. Yes. Okay. We have excused absent numbers. We have talked about communications. Is there any other business 
before the board. Uh, Are there any 30 day waiver? No, council doesn't meet again until uh, the second uh, Tuesday in January. So that'll put us past, just about past that 30 days. Yeah, okay. So it wouldn't matter. Are you going to be the councilman or the mayor at that point? I'm still the mayor at that point, but I'm just here to support my apartment <laughs> council. <laughs> because you're a rough crowd and I'm on the next <laughs> Is there any more public participation? To, I didn't know if you wanted to speak. No? Okay. Is there any other further business before our board? If not, I'd like a motion to adjourn. Uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Roll call. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Brown. Yes. Yes. Thank you for your attendance tonight.